Hello, everybody. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a new episode of Trauma Center New Blood. New Blood, blood. <laughs> I like saying that. I I can see that. <laughs> oh, come on, let me have my fun. So, blood. what happened? Can you tell us what happened on the last episode? <laughs> on the last episode, <laughs> we got we got our second consistent A. We got like a back to back A. Which has never happened before. Something amazing happened in the last exactly. episode. So I guess, okay. And also, Professor Wilkins appeared. Finally. Yes. Well, I mean, we all knew it was him anyway. Yeah, we have our feelings. So. It was just, you know, it was just Valerie who was like, I don't think the professor could be the one behind all this, but it's like, obviously, yeah. Yeah. So. Okay, so are you ready for identity loss? I don't want to lose my identity. Okay. Well, it's too, too late. We're well, all going to lose our identities. Too late for that. Okay, Caduceus. <laughs> Caduceus? Caduceus. Yes, okay. the Scar hey, but rang. was exactly what we thought it was. An electronic device has been embedded in his brain. Oh, uh, we'll be back. Okay, we'll ba we're back. So what happened again? Who had an electric device? Mr. Wilkins. Okay. As you can see in this picture. That explains the change in behavior. I don't see the picture. Yes. But how was he able to conduct Kidman's stigma research? Mm. I mean, with that thing controlling his brain. <laughs> I love her glasses. They go from like white, like you know, see-through. But whatever. <laughs> it's like being under hypnosis. He could be manipulated by the power of suggestion, but he still retained his intelligence. So. So he was brainwashed. So really, Professor Wilkins was like a robot or something. So is it possible yeah, it was being to controlled by someone a zombie? Else? And his family oh, would like us to drive. It, sorry. What just happened there? The authorities have also consented. They They're pretty much saying that his family wants us to safe. operate on him to take the chip out. Yeah, well, we should take the chip out. Poor guy, you know? Yeah. That's the last thing that I believe it's needs. possible. If the chip device can be removed without damaging his brain. Dr. Vaughn, I'd like to hear your opinion. So, oh, of course. I... <laughs> I... I what? think we should give it a shot. Yes. For the professor's sake. I agree okay, with him. Okay, then. Then, we should start considering the obstacles we'll face while performing the surgery. I have a question. Mm -hmm. And nobody Everett, cares about the the what's her name given this that call. disappears? Cynthia? Yeah, Cynthia Kusikova or Kasaskova. I don't remember her last name. Okay. Yes, ma'am. There is one last question I'd like to raise, though. It may have occurred to you already, but I don't blame you for not mentioning it. Uh, Who was able to perform such a difficult operation? Oh, that's true. Who put it in his yeah. head in the first place? We'll be performing. Hey, remember here? We were right on four. <laughs> yes. I'd be lying if I said it was going to be easy, but it's necessary to return you to your normal self. <laughs> I'd rather him return to his normal self. He looks think weird. I don't can hear you, Doctor Vaughn. Uh oh. I'm a doctor, and this is my patient. He deserves an explanation. Is he even aware that? How his long has the chip been in his brain, then? Maybe you should address him as director. That would be defeating the purpose, Val. <laughs> Professor, if you know the name of the surgeon who operated on you, can you please tell me? Otherwise, we'll have to make our diagnosis during the operation. Okay, and we're back. Do you despise me? Professor? See those buildings over there? They look like the Triforce. What looks like the Triforce? The buildings on the window. Oh, not really. Do you After despise all, me, Professor? If I hadn't discovered stigma, then none of this would have occurred, and you wouldn't be in this condition. So, hang on—he really was kidnapped. Yes. By, by Kidman, and yeah. then they put the thing or in somebody his head? else. Somebody. Or did he already have it in his head before he, no, he no, no. was I, kidnapped? It, no, I think he probably had it. I think they probably performed the surgery after he was kidnapped. After he disappeared, you know? Wait a minute, I have a question. Cause he, he, Do you remember that Wilkins, episode that, that yeah. the building burned? Yeah. And, he, and from that point, he disappeared? Yeah. So maybe the whole burning of the building was a decoy. So they can get Wilkins, or Wilkins can escape. Right? From that point on, I already kind of had a fishy a feeling. feeling about Professor Wilkins because he didn't want anybody to see his research and. Okay, 
Well, huh. we'll find out, I guess, right? When did he have the chip, right? I guess so. Did it say in any of the comments that he had the chip before or after? They, they didn't mention it. Oh, okay. Oh, you got done things. Face off. Different. Yeah, that's what we're gonna get. Oh, it's not your fault. You are mistaken. Stigma was destined to be born from the very beginning. It matters not who is responsible for its discovery. Okay, thank you. We are blessed to have witnessed such a marvelous creation. I wouldn't call it marvelous. I think he's still talking under the, uh... Can you not imagine the possibilities of the next generation of stigma? The hell no. searches for a way to coexist within the human body. And I intend to grant its wish. What are well, you saying? This isn't the professor. It may be his body, but there's something else inside of him. Seems like that to Bailey. Yeah. Okay. I mean, he lost his identity. And it <laughs> <laughs> I wonder where did you get that from? An electric device has been implanted in the patient's brain. To deactivate it, certain steps will be carefully followed. I'll explain the situation. Okay. Where's Elena? I think Elena doesn't have the uh, what did you do the with technical Elena? knowledge, you know, to uh... handle this operation. Okay. Continue. Okay. This operation's objective is the removal of a number of plugs from an implant in the professor's brain. Okay. This complex device releases a weak electrical current that can modify a person's personality. Okay. The plugs That's transmit scary. that current to a specific section of nerves in the brain. I can't believe that Kidman and his group were capable of creating yeah. something like this. Maybe so we'll... if they're good enough to, you know, do an operation like that, why do they need us? Like, why do they kidnap us? Maybe they were doing more testing on, on stigma, remember? Mm. Like testing the way that stigma behaves on, on different operations and things like that. I see. Nor can I. This Which is, is interesting, right? I mean, it's a valid question, right? What do they need us? Yeah. Unless they can operate on a stigma. I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, advanced equipment as well I'm, as I'm pretty sure that if you're like able this. to make a, a cerebral implant... They didn't even have advanced equipment there either. Unless they just didn't give us the advanced equipment. Yeah. Now, we, 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 we're, I mean, we're going to I mean, like... They, a didn't, they didn't even give us morphine. Well, we're going to a certain gray area, right? Like, the game started to become a little bit more deeper. <laughs> <laughs> We're thinking too much. Yeah, we're thinking too much. But I've told Elena the operational procedure. Oh, okay. Oh, then Elena will be with us. Saying, but working on the brain carries great risk. You don't say. You must work with the utmost care to prevent minimal oh, after Obviously, he's the professor, right? Yep. That's what I have in mind. Thank you. He's going to be brain dead system. by the time we're done with it. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever operated in another person's brain this series? I don't think so. Okay. Please prepare for the procedure. Oh, thank you. We already prepared. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be Dr. Smacking the Cerebral Cortex. Okay. Operation. What was that again that we always say? Laser nipples. Laser nipples! Quack, quack, quack. Okay. Well, there's no light. Operation. To begin with, we'll work on the actual implant itself. Okay. Before we can remove the plugs from the implant, we need to put the device into sleep mode. Alright. Use the forceps to pull out the three chips in the, the center. Chips. So we have to pull out the three chips in the center. I'm told that doing this will cause part of its functions to be suspended. Okay. But please be careful not okay, to let me take the one. object rotating around it when extracting the chips. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Which so object we cannot take out? We can take these out, but as we're dragging them out, we ah, cannot let it touch. Okay, okay. These things that are Please rotating. That's the second half, the first, the next, this is the last chip. Okay. Okay. Well, that part seems uh, now, a little bit scary, but let's easy. Let's move on to extracting the plugs. The affected area is over here. Ooh. These five plugs are supposedly sending special signals into the professor's brain. If we remove all five of them, the implant will stop having an effect on his personality. Okay. These okay. lights on the ends of the plugs. It seems that they light up when they receive signals from the main system. Okay. Because of the modifications we made to the implant earlier, the transmission signal is cutting out. Please okay. pull out each plug while its light is off. With the lights, with the lights off. Okay, wait, 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 oh. wait, wait. So when it's flashing, when it's don't flashing, take don't it. take it. Be sure to pull it. Please make sure okay, to let me put some more things. Right direction. What's the, the right direction? Give me a second. Give me a second. Maybe the direction is uh, the way of the cable. 
Just wait, wait. Okay. Okay, let me try this one. Make sure you pull in the right direction. In the right direction. What is the, the right direction? Would it be this the right direction? Oh, to take it out! Oh my god! Oh, oh my god, it's long! Please move on to the second one. Make sure you pull in the right direction. Thanks a lot, Elena. Okay. Pull it out carefully. Now place There's it in the three box. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. We removed more than half of wait, them. Just wait. Are you Get gonna that, grab no, that one? No, grab that one. Wait, wait, just wait now. Yeah, I know. Okay. This is the last cap. Yes. Place the plug well, on the oh, tray. just wait, 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 oh. wait! I told you to wait. As soon as I saw the failing, I really hate how even if it's over the plate, you can still miss it. Like, what the hell is up with that? Yeah, whatever. You know, you just put inside the brain. You just drop. The, you just drop his plug inside Professor's brain. No, but it was in the plate. <laughs> Can you imagine my, if my, I drop a plug in your brain? My thing was on top of the plate. Okay. They could not bear. Anyway. Oh, whatever. Whatever. Okay, let's continue. Well, it seems okay. We just have to be careful. Well. Yeah, we just have to be very careful. Well, let's begin the operation. To begin with, I'll, I'll be right back. Work on the actual implant itself. And so we're back. So where were we? We were about to take a chip out of his brain. Wait, 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 give me a second. I don't know where. Okay. Before we can remove the plugs from the use uh, the force. Use the forceps. Okay. So this one, the key is not to touch the, to touch the white light, right? The next, this is the Go, last you do it, you do it. The less hands, the better. <laughs> Yeah. And now the key for this one was like remove the plug, but it's a long plug. Yes. Okay. The affected area is over here. And we can't do it when the lights on. Okay, just let's see what order. Do they have the same order? I don't remember. Pull out each plug while its light is off. So it's gonna wait for this one to turn on. Be sure to pull it in the. Please make sure to pull it out in the right direction. It's out. Now place it in the, the first okay. plug. Okay. I'm gonna put a little bit more thing. Please move on to the second one. Pull it out carefully. Now place it in the tray. That's the third one. Watch out, it's gonna come here. more than half of them. Okay. This is now put it in the tray. You do so fast. What? Okay, let's see what happens now. Personality disruptor. <laughs> That's a nice Finally, name for it. We need to turn the implant back on. Can we just leave it alone? The device is in an unstable condition. And it's apparently dangerous to leave it as it is now. Okay. Okay. So now we have to we put, those... put the chips back. Oh, oh God. what? This. That's so. All we have to do now is place the chips we removed. Oh, back all we have to do now is but... you know what? Can you do your I mean, stability thing, things? or you want me to do the? Uh... Yes. Uh, well, here, give me a second. Stop right now. But still. Good idea. You, you try, try, you try. Place that chip in the center. Please be careful. That's the first one. This is the last one. I don't like how close one. together they are. Don't let go until oh. you move it into the center. That's two down. Okay, we got it. Okay, thanks, thanks for the healing touch. Thanks for healing touch. All steps of the operation have been completed. I hope that this will return the professor to normal. I hope so, too. We'll just have to wait until he regains consciousness and see for ourselves. So we're not actually taking it out, we're just disconnecting the plugs. Right? Oh, because the plugs were the thing that it was sending... Sending the current. The current. But, but now the chip isn't technically connected to anything. Mm. So it should have no effect, I assume. Yeah. That was it? That was it? Okay. I was expecting, like, stigma will appear and kick us ass. Yeah, well. well, we have the streak of A. Probably. What? <laughs> <laughs> We're back at C. A C B C, baby. A C B C. Okay, let's see what happens now. Well, you are in the hospital, buddy. <laughs> I will be happy if I woke up from the hospital and the first thing I see is Elena. And then it's like, ooh, hello. I see the operation. I'll remember that. <laughs> Come on. I'm glad I didn't fall victim to my creation. To stigma. Professor? His memory has reverted back to when we operated on him at Concordia. Hmm. Marcus. So I guess this was before. What? Or sorry, like the 
this was after the kidnapping. What the implant, right? Yeah, yeah. I've decided to take your advice and stop researching stigma. Well, thank you. You have no idea how many episodes of suffering <laughs> stigma has been. You know, we have been through. I know. So I'm terminating the project. Thank you. I think that's best. Yes. Good. However, I don't think that's going to be the end. The truth, no, please. that's not going to be the end. It's not for me to say. It's the director. But it's also decision. Cynthia that is missing. Mm -hmm. yes. Cynthia's Good. disappearing. You're all still here. You could have just paged us. That's okay. I'm sure you're all tired from the surgery. Yeah. I apologize for the short notice, but there will be another meeting tomorrow. Okay. We'll be discussing the international <sighs> investigation of the stigma syndicate. Okay, dokie. Doctors from the other Caduceus branches will be present. Oh, sweet. I'm concerned about the professor's condition, but I'll try to make time for it. There's one other thing you should know, uh -oh. just so you aren't taken by surprise. Dun, dun, dun. Cynthia, um, we'll refer. One of the topics on tomorrow's agenda concerns Cynthia. <gasps> oh my god, is Cynthia double agent? How so? <laughs> She's in Central Asia, Caucasus to be precise. Okay. And she appears to be there on behalf of the Syndicate. What? what? So I was right? So you were right. What? Okay, nice cliffhanger there. C for cliffhanger. <laughs> yeah, nice one. C for cliffhanger. <laughs> okay, so I guess this is this was an easy episode, you know. Yeah, it was definitely I mean, easier we, uh, than uh, oh my god than that last one that we just did. Yeah. So okay, so we'll see you everyone on the next episode of Trauma Center. New blood. Weapon Depot. Weapon Depot. Home Depot. <laughs> Weapon Depot. Not bye bye. Not depart. <laughs> no depart. Departing. <laughs> bye. I have to depart. Bye-bye. <laughs>